how are you? I know it's been forever since I did my last video, which was the Let's Talk About Lipstick video. In that video, you guys can see and hear that I sounded a hot mess. That cold allergy slash whatever you want to call it had me down for like ever. I'm still battling with it here and there, but I feel a lot better. So I wanted to come today and do my March favorite foundation. I do not use this foundation all the time, but it has become one of my favorites, especially when I'm doing photos and I want that flawless look and that flawless finish. Oh gosh, sorry. It's like, yeah, still battling here. But um, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Finish Foundation. I have used this a couple times just for certain pictures and stuff like that. And I just love the way it comes out. So this has made one of my favorites for the month of March. Uh, FYI, I tried to tape this while the kids were taking their nap. But as you can hear, they are up. And they are loud, so I apologize for that. But moving on. Um, one of my other little favorite things now, I know um, the Beauty Blender is the top sponge to use when blending your foundations and everything together. But I found this little neat little sponge at... I want to say Burlington Coat Factory, and I found a couple of them at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Surprisingly, those little stores have beauty sections, and you can find a lot of great stuff there for a reasonable price. So I found this little weird shaped beauty sponge, and I love it because of the way it's angled. It's like circle, but then it's slanted. It helps me get right up under that eye right up under that eye so I love it then you can use the other part to blend foundation or your concealer whatever you want to use your beauty sponge for and I paid $2.99 for this at Burlington Coat Factory yes <laughs> I'm like drawing a blank here so then I'm going to my facial wash stuff that I have found um I did get it on clearance so the, hence the clearance sign um but this is clean and clear advantage daily soothing acne scrub oil free tough on acne and not your skin with aloe and avocado this if you've known I'm like struggling with trying to figure out what is the best stuff for my face to use since I'm now into makeup and my skin has taped taken such a beating because it's not used to me wearing um, makeup every day or products every day before I would just wear makeup for certain occasions but now I'm on this journey with makeup my skin is just oh it just has a mind of its own but this little puppy right here has been doing so well with my skin and I love it so what I do is I use my uh, Cetaphil daily facial wash first my gentle then I go in with the acne scrub and then if I have any breakouts that pop out anywhere from stress that time of the month or whatever the case may be they have a clearing clean and clear acne advantage a uh, spot on treatment and you can just rub it on that baby and it just draws it out like it's gone within like one or two days. And you don't have to go through the redness, the swelling, the hurting. So yes, <clears throat> these two together have made my list. And now I'm going to jump into um, eyes. Um, recent video, I went to uh, my Herman Face Values discount store and I picked up a couple of NYX products. Right now I'm loving their um, eyeliner. This one is the Matte Black Crayon Eyeliner Collection Noir. And I was searching for a good under eye liner because 
every time I do some within the middle of the day, it's like, it's smudged. Like, this one's here now because, honestly, guys, I have to say, I woke up from the bomb nap. Like, I was like, I should tape this while they were really into their deep sleep. But then, like, it was so quiet in the house and it just consumed me. And I was just like, hmm, hmm, sleeping so well in my bed. So, my lashes are off. Um, my makeup is still good though. My lashes are off and some of my eyeliner has run because I was sleeping so good. But besides that, this little baby right here has been working so well underneath my eye and not giving me the illusion that I have been crying or somebody has punched me in the eye because throughout the middle of the day, it just wants to be smeared and running right here. So this little baby has made my, and it's by NYX, so wherever NYX is sold, where you are, they have a, an array of different eyeliners for different types, liquid, matte, whatever finish you're looking for, so you can go pick that up. Then I tried their mascara, just because it was right there next to it, and I actually like this mascara. Um, this one is called the Faux Lashes. Let me show you how they spell it. And I like it. It's Noir Black. It's a part of the Noir collection as well. And yeah. It's just a mascara. This one I tend to grab every day. It's in my little everyday box of makeup that I use. And um, more for the eyes. I'm going to go with lashes. I have been rocking Arda lashes every day i just love the way they go on i love that way they feel they're so light featherweight light they don't irritate my eye or anything like that so i have been rocking the natural demi 120 and or i don't have the box to show you but they're in the glamour the glamour collection and they're just called wispies they kind of look like this they're a little more dramatic but yes, I've been loving, loving, loving Ardell lashes. Favorite of all time. So me, like I said, I'm getting into makeup. So I want to, you know, broaden my horizons and do a lot more with makeup and be able to do other people's makeup and everything like that. So I went and got uh, Ever Easy Lashes by Kiss. And they're in... Um, like drops of two or three. They're the trio lashes of various lengths. So you have extra short, 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 and long. And they come in three. I'm going to try to get close. They come in three. Instead of like the very individual lashes, it helps to put on better. So I wanted to put, and they have like a picture on the back. So there you go. A single that's what real, real single lashes look like. And then that's what Ardell's looks I mean, this is Kiss. This is what Kiss looks like. So I bought these and, um, yeah, I've tried them on one person. And I love the way they came out. I'm like, my mind is just all over the place. And I like the way they come out. So I favorite them. I am um, want to practice again. I want to practice again on my mom. Just so I can perfect my skills a lot more. So, and I got these from Herman Face Values, $4. So, it does not come with glue. So, you know, you'll have to have your own glue and tweezers. Unlike, you know, Ardell has the same kind of pack, but it comes with the two different types of glue and tweezers to help for easy application. So, so now I'm going to jump into concealers. I was so happy. I did not upload a video of when I got and finally received my LA Girl Pro HD concealers, but love them. Like, I don't even need to talk about them because every beauty guru out here on YouTube already has them. If you do not have them, they are the by far one of the best um, pro concealers I have for like drugstore prices like yeah you have your high end I have my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer but just how my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer goes on this baby goes on and I paid less than what you know I think my Pro Long Wear Concealer for MAC was like $18 this baby was $1.90 on the internet 
and it does the same thing. I'm actually wearing it to highlight underneath my eyes right now. Um, my lighting is a little different from before. Um, down, during my downtime, I switched my room around, so I'm kind of getting natural light from my window right here, along with my light setup, so kind of playing with it. Um, but yeah, and you can use these to highlight, contour, some people use it for foundation. Beautiful. Love them. Not going to talk anymore about them. Lipsticks. Mwah. So, I'm going to talk about this one first because I, let me tell you. First of all, this one is by Maybelline and it is the Elixir. So, love the packaging. It fooled the heck out of me. I thought when I bought this, I was going to pop this baby off and use it like a regular lipstick. Boy, was I wrong. I brought it home. I popped it open. I'm like... Why is it not coming out? Did I buy a broken one? Then the handle turned. And I was like, oh my goodness. So fooled that and then this. Love these babies. I love this purple. It is like a dope for a uh, max lipstick. I'm drawing a blank right now on the name. Like... I think I need to go take my vitamins because my mind should have had a V8. But, um, yeah, the MAC lipstick, that's what it's a dope for. I love it. I'm actually about to apply some on my lips for you. Gorgeous, right? Love it. I'm just adding different colors to my lips today. And so along with Maybelline, I got the gloss to go on top of it. But this is before I knew that this was an elixir. Before I thought it was like a lipstick that was going to dry to a matte finish. I bought the gloss to help bring my lips out even more. But I didn't need it because this is glossy enough. Do, 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 do. But anyway, got these from Walmart. 560 and some change. And the colors, like I said, this one is uh, Vision in Violet. Vision in Violet, the elixir. And the gloss is Raspberry Reflections. Those two together. And then my other lipsticks, lippies that I have, I guys showed you in my Let's Talk About Lipstick video. So I'm not really going to go into depth about them. If you want to see how I go into depth about them and swatch them. Go down below and look at my Let's Talk About Lipsticks video. I have my NYX uh, Lipsticks, Lip Butters, and Soft Matte Creams. And I do have a pink one laying around here and a nude color one laying around here somewhere. But I just did this little girl's makeup for her father-daughter's dance. So my stuff is kind of everywhere. But yeah, these are... The NYX Lips and Butter Losses. Like I said, I'm not going to go in depth about them because I did go in depth about them and their texture and how they smell so good and the way they glide on in my last video. So if you guys want to see that, I, you know, scroll down low and like the video and watch it. But yeah, so guys, um, these are my March favorites. I've missed you guys. Like, hopefully this weather doesn't change again on me and have me down again for like a whole week and a half. But... I love you guys, and until next time, please like and subscribe this video. Oh my gosh, before I go, I've been a rebel. I got another tattoo on my foot. I will show you guys a picture in the video in the end. And my mother, I love her so much, bought me my Michael Kors watch. So the tattoo on my foot says, um, walking by faith. I am a Christian. I do go to church. I love the Lord. Um, I think like, cause you're walking, you're literally walking by faith and I have it on my foot. You know, we take steps and leaps of faith every day. So, and there go my nieces and nephews. So guys, until next time, I love you. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you want to do. Bye.